hello and howdy this is Sheila welcome to the painted pig channel um I'm just showing you this for you to have something to look at because um I'm doing a new intro to a, a video that I'm about to edit and I know the first part of it is real blurry because of the <clears throat> just the solid color sheet of paper that I had on the screen so <laughs> And try to do a little bit differently and see if that that helps. Um, as you know, I don't often get a chance to get vintage things, <clears throat> but uh, this weekend my husband and I went out to uh, um, a, well, it's it's a good little ways from the house, from our house, kind of the other side of town, to a picker's place. Irondale Pickers was the name of it. And now, I hate that I paid as much as I did. <laughs> but, can you see? It's got Emmanuel Knowles, 1873. The book was written in 1872 by Reverend um, Rowe, I think was his name. Edward row and it is dedicated reverently dedicated to the memory of my sainted mother so in, from what i can tell it's about the um chicago fire so that's interesting but as you can see it's coming apart so i'm gonna use pages you know, and you can see it's kind of fragile like this. So, I've got a little something vintage here, but look at this. This is what I'm most excited about, and I paid the most money for. This is Germany Illustrated. And as you can see, the cover is pretty beat up. And on the inside here, must have been a thing to do this, says Robert Goodman from Annie, December 25th, 07. Now, the book was copywritten in 1891. So, I guess it had been around a little bit, but the illustrations is what got me. This is with pen and pencil. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? So, I can scan these, I think. People that know more about copyright, please leave a comment below. But because I think it's over a hundred years old, I can use scans and without um, worry uh, about the copyright infringement. But uh, look at this. Look at that. Cool. So I'm I'm pretty I was pretty excited about it. Now I found a ledger type of book that was must from the Masons. It was the uh, minutes from their meetings, <clears throat> all handwritten in beautiful, beautiful script, uh, and very old. I can't remember exactly how. Old. <laughs> Ninety five bucks, and I'm like, no. I'm not making enough off my journals to pay $95. Okay, that's it. Let me go on to the, to the video now. I thought I'd give you my take on it. I've done them a few, done them a few different ways. I did them with uh, napkins and uh, didn't use Mod Podge or... Uh, Deco, Posh, Posh, whatever the name of that stuff is. Um, our matte gel medium. None of that. I just used just your old stick glue. It was easier for me to do that way. And this particular one I stitched. But most of them I just uh, glued, or, glued and or washi taped the side. And then I made little... Little um, file folder type tags to go on the top. Um, 
describing what's in them. And on this one is uh, paper. Um, I did two paper, two napkin, and then this uh, just now. Or just a while ago. Um, and this is just uh, thin scrapbook paper. Okay. So first you just you glue the flap down on your envelope envelope mm -hmm. and like I said this is six by nine just plain white envelope okay and the next step is to shave off the top and the sides of your envelope so you can open it like this and then go back and anywhere that it's not glued, like especially here at the top, you're going to be putting things in and out. So you'll want that glued down very well. So, <laughs> hopefully you're better than I am about that sort of thing. Okay. So the next step is to pick out your paper. And like I said, it needs to be thin a scrapbook paper. And if it is directional, then you're going to need to cut it um, into six inch sheets because this will fold. And you'll, if you want the the direction to be going in the correct direction, uh, then you'll have to to cut your paper. Now, I'm not going to go fancy with this. I'm just going to go, uh, I think I'm just going to go with regular art glitter glue for dem demonstration purposes. I would probably, as I did with the others, use stick glue. You could use double stick tape, a multitude of things. Okay, now that I've got my directional paper going in the correct direction, uh, my take is going to be, by a little bit of a different take, is going to be to <clears throat> make a window so I can see what um, I have in my little pouch. So, uh, here we go. Let's see. Um, hold on. Laminated. Say, yeah. Uh, because I can see the little bitty piece of <laughs> plant on the side of it. So, I'm going to trim this just a little bit. Okay, and what I think I will do is I think I will get some washi tape and just just to hold it in place for a sec and then I'm gonna try to stitch it yeah so we'll see how successful I am when we come back well amazingly enough I managed to so around this circle halfway decently. It's not perfect by any means, but it, of course it didn't need to be. 
and I went ahead and glued in a sheet of craft paper here so because I didn't want that big white hole glaring at me <laughs> and I went ahead and stitched the sides now I started to go ahead and put my washi on the top and the bottom before I did the stitching, but I didn't I did not want to stitch through the washi and gum up my my machine. So I'm going to attempt to put the washi on now and I know I probably should glue it, but I don't have a non-stick mat. Ah, see? Mm. Did you see what I just did? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, it's just for storage, right? <laughs> so, let me go ahead and repair my boo-boo. I tell you, this is supposed to be easy, but I'd hate to tell you how many times I've attempted this on camera. Okay, now let me see if I can. No, it's not going to let me. I'm just going to have to live with it. I'm just going to have to live with it being a little off. It's perfectly okay. <clears throat> well, it's not perfectly okay because <laughs> we don't do perfect. <laughs> but it will work. It will work. Put yes, I do. I, I want it to. I want it to have the tape on the sides as well, I believe. And I'm just rather than put it on the tape, I'm just gonna just basically cover the stitches with the glue, and then I'm gonna see what I can do. Right. Maybe if I do these enough, I'll get it right. Now that was probably the best one yet. Now, okay. And let's bring that over. Whatever this is called, I'm going to do it really well. Alright, so there we have it. Now, uh, 
I'm not going to put the tabs on there because I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. But to do these like this, I got just some cardstock and I got my envelope punch board. And I think I made these three and a half inches. One and a quarter, give or take, um, is good enough. And you put that, the end, right there on your little line and punch. Then you turn it over, and you can see it's going to three and a half because that's the width. So, three and a half, and three and a half. And I would just probably tr trim them to the same width, or yeah, this way. And then I would just write my contents on there and glue the written one on the inside and then that one on the back to hold it in place. And there we go. That's all there was to it. So now I have one that I'm going to be able to see into. I've got some little tags here. I may just most likely put those in there. And I will be able to see them. Now I've not put any closures on these. I really... Um, I don't think they need them, but if I see in the future that they do, I shall formulate something at that point. <laughs> Velcro, most likely. Um, yeah. Or, yeah, probably Velcro. Or a flap of some, maybe a small, I don't know, we'll see. Hey, I hope that that, was, that will be a help in some way. And it is fun once you kind of get it down in your head. And I think that this one was the, the biggest success. So I've got several now. I think I'm, I'm working on a thing here. Um, I think I could probably get get a box or um, one of my let's see for this one of my little baskets. No, it won't quite fit that way. I don't think I'd want it that way. Let's see one of these. Yeah, I believe. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you make some, just either post them on my Facebook page, which is The Painted Pick. There's always a link below. Um, and if you do a video, by all means, give me the, um, what is it, the at sign or the hashtag sign? I don't know, but let me know. <laughs> email me. I don't care. Uh, but I do want to see it. Okay, so uh, hit that like button if you feel so inclined and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I want you to please take care, stay well, hugs and kisses until next time. Bye-bye.